If you're thinking about getting a knee sleeve for your patellar tendinitis, here's what you need to know. There are two main types of knee sleeves. You've got your more loosely fitting knee sleeve and you've got tighter knee sleeves that want to support the joint. Let's talk about how much they help patellar tendinitis and the one issue they all have in common. Now, first off, the loosely fitting knee sleeve. This could be a neoprene sleeve, it could be a knee pad or something similar. And the main goal of these is not to support the joint directly, but to help keep it warm by providing an additional layer of insulation. And as you know, there's very little blood supply in the tendon, little circulation in and around the tendon, which is why temperature control happens mostly through keeping body heat in. But if you look at your knee, you'll notice there's only a very thin layer of skin on top of the tendon. So it's easy for the tendon to get too cold on colder days. And as tendons get colder, they lose elasticity and risk of injury increases. This is why warm-ups are so important, but even the best warm-up in the world won't help you much if all that heat gets drained from your knee again in just a few minutes. And this is why knee sleeves can be useful for people that have a feeling of stiffness in the tendon or in the knee in general, especially on colder days. Another type of knee sleeve that you may find recommended for patellar tendinitis is the patellar tendon strap. These ones won't keep the heat in, but they have other benefits. They can reduce tendon pain a little bit, they can improve proprioception, so body awareness, they can reduce pre-landing muscle activation of the quadriceps muscle, possibly leading to a softer landing, and in one study, patellar tendon straps help participants land with a more neutral leg alignment and a lower ground reaction force. And that sounds great, right? But at the same time, the studies also showed that you were more likely to benefit from the patellar tendon strap if you had smaller knee girth, a shorter history of symptoms, and lower tendon abnormalities. So those with thicker knees or a longer history of symptoms are less likely to benefit from the strap or may not even benefit from it at all. And this is also what you'll find reflected in online reviews. Some people say, oh, these are amazing. I could keep playing without a problem. And others say, I couldn't even get them to fit. Utter trash. Now, me personally, I'm not a fan of these patellar tendon straps exactly because I've seen far too many people use them as a crutch to stay active in their sport in spite of pain from patellar tendinitis. And this is something that, without exception, everyone ends up regretting eventually. One thing I've had a lot of people tell me over the years is, I wish I'd found your exercises sooner. But for some reason, I've never had one single person say to me, gee whiz, I'm so glad I kept playing through the pain all those years. It just never happens. Still, I've come to realize that straps, these straps can be useful, especially for managing pain when you're sitting for long periods of time or when you're driving. Another type of knee sleeve is the one with a gel ring around the kneecap. And these can be useful for patellofemoral pain syndrome or to reduce patellar tracking. So if you have one of these conditions, in addition to patellar tendinitis, you may benefit from the knee sleeve with the gel ring. If you don't have one of these conditions, uh, the, this particular knee sleeve likely won't provide a benefit beyond keeping the heat in. And finally, a last type of knee sleeve is the knee brace. And the knee braces are usually a lot sturdier, a lot stiffer, they are bulkier, and they come with Velcro straps to keep the whole thing in place. You would use a knee brace after acute injuries like an ACL tear, an MCL tear, or, an, or a meniscus tear, and to support the knee after surgeries. But for pure patellar tendinitis, these knee braces are complete overkill. So do knee sleeves help patellar tendinitis? Yes, in some ways they do help. They can reduce stiffness by keeping the knee warm, they can support the kneecap to reduce patellar maltracking, and they can make the pain more manageable. What they cannot do is they cannot heal the tendon. So knee sleeves can help you feel somewhat better for some time, but if you want to get rid of tendonitis permanently, you'll still have to do tendon strengthening exercises and work on biomechanical issues that can contribute to patellar tendon overload. And if you want to know more about the details, how exactly you can do this, plus what works and what doesn't, you can always check out my step-by-step -step course at fixkneepain.com slash tendonitis. And two other videos that you may find interesting are these two. One's about whether you should ice the tendon and the other one covers when it's okay to go running or cycling during tendon rehab. And this is a question that also comes up often. I hope you enjoy. That's it for now and I will see you in another video.